Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 4 that is Selenium Environment Setup in Visual Studio. In this lecture you will learn what are the tools that are required to do the automation using Selenium in Visual Studio. So first thing that you will need is Visual Studio itself that is the integrated development environment. For that go to this particular URL visualstudio.com and then download the community edition of the Visual Studio. There are various editions like Ultimate Professional. So out of that you need to download the community edition because that is free for you and recently they have launched uh, 2017 so you can go ahead and download the latest ID so while installing the ID what you have to do is you have to disable your antivirus software otherwise installation gets set up gets stuck up so that's why you need to disable the antivirus while you are installing this particular software next thing that you will need is drivers for each browser for example if you want to automate the Chrome you will need the exe file and you can get it from this particular URL there are various versions so latest version is 2.27 so you can go ahead and then download the exe of for your suitable for your platform like Windows Mac or Linux so similarly there is a exe for each browser like for Internet Explorer there is Internet Explorer driver then for Firefox there is Gecko driver and for Microsoft this Microsoft Edge driver for Safari there is no exe or the application file that is an extension is available so you can get that extension from here and to do the headless automation you can download the phantom js exe from this particular URL alright so assuming that you have installed the visual studio what you have to do is uh, go to visual studio and then create the unit testing project you can see that I have already created this unit testing project so I'm just gonna briefly explain you how you can create that for that good file and then click on new project and then you have to go to visual c sharp in the templates visual c sharp test and here you have to select unit test project and then here you can give the location of the project then click on ok and when you click on ok this particular project is created test method this particular default method is created and you can similarly create another methods by just copy pasting it like that so this test method annotation uh, which is you like which is uh, similar to the annotations in the Java this is used to mark the test method for example this is test method and this is another test method similarly you can create multiple test methods and to denote or indicate the test class you can use this particular annotation alright so this particular test class is unit test one is automatically created when you create new project but definitely you can go ahead and create new test classes in there now next thing that I want to explain to you is that how you can add the Selenium web driver using nuggets so in the references you will notice that we have got this many references and web driver is also seen but normally when you create a new project this particular web driver reference will not be there so to get that reference what you have to do is right click on the reference and then click on manage nugget packages so nugget is the package manager for dotnet libraries and then you have to click on browse tab over there you have to search for the selenium and as you can see i have installed this particular library that's why it is showing the tick mark and oh, if you select that it will show the install button so you have to install that by clicking on that button since i have already installed it it is showing me an install button and this is the version latest version of the selenium web driver that is 3.1.0 and once you install that uh, that particular web driver will be available over there and then in the next lecture we will be looking at how to create a simple selenium test that will launch the browser using the classes that are available in the web selenium web driver dll so stay tuned for that lecture thanks